Hello there, and welcome. My name is Calliope, and I will be taking care of you today. Would you mind if I just see your patient ID bracelet real quick? Yes, just hold it out and then... Okay, let me record this down. Paging Dr. Sanchero on line 3. Dr. Sanchero, line 3. So those match. Wonderful. And would you mind telling me the reason for your visit? Oh. Oh, that sounds dreadful. Well, I'm so glad that you came to us promptly, and I'd like to just ask what other kind of symptoms you're experiencing with this illness. Oh. And when did this start? Uh, I think that using the latest technology, we will certainly be able to both diagnose and Now, our top-of-the-line technology uses your DNA in order to ascertain what exactly is going on in your body, and then our machines can tailor-make the correct prescription to help with both the illness and any other little hidden pesky that maybe you didn't realize were happening. For example, many of us have some sort of deficiency in vitamins, generally, and it can be kind of hard to pinpoint what that is exactly. Sometimes it's just a feeling of malaise, sometimes it's just some vague symptoms, but by using your DNA, we'll be able to both look at that information, how your body is responding to it, and how we can correct it in the most effective way. Absolutely wonderful what technology can do these days, huh? Yes, indeed. So, I just need to grab some vitals. After that, we will be taking samples of your DNA, and then we're going to be running that through our machine. Okay? Wonderful. So firstly, we're going to be taking your temperature, and this will be a relatively simple affair, in that I am just going to be swiping my hand over your forehead. and We can get an accurate reading that way. Okay? Alright, let me just turn this on real quick. There we go. Very helpful with our little, little lights here. I'm just going to have you hold still, okay? And from this point onwards, I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Wonderful. Now let's go ahead and just very slowly Slowly swipe. Third time's the charm. Very slowly swipe along your. There we go. Excellent. Now, I'm just going to record this on my paper copy as well. Just want to make sure we have a backup. 
occasionally the data gets a little frazzled. That's how that works. Hmm. Well, you're running a little warm, but not quite to a fever, so we we'll want to keep an eye on that. Okay, and now I am going to be taking your pulses and your respiration rate. We'll use the glove again. Let me turn this on and I'll have one of your hands if you don't mind. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to place my sensor right on my thumb along your radial artery, just underneath the thumb. And we'll take a few moments. So this is much faster than taking the beats per minute and respiration rate by hand. Okay. We'll give it a little bit more time. Dr. McLaughlin to the energy containment department. Mm. Dr. McLaughlin, energy containment. went through. Now let's go ahead and check your oxygen saturation as well. So if I could just take your finger and I will just hold my finger onto yours. This little bit right here is what's going to be taking that measurement. So if I could have your finger please. Good. And we will just wait. A few more moments. Just a little bit longer. Breathing just a little quickly. Oxygen saturation, very good. Now, let's go ahead and take your blood pressure, okay? Very good. So, I am going to take this and put it on the opposite side, okay? So that would be this side here. I'm going to hold onto your arm, okay? Alrighty, so just stay still for me. I'm going to wait here. You know, why don't we just take on the sphygmomanometer. We have the cuff here. I'm going to wrap it around this arm. And we'll just run those two lines down the radial artery. And this one will be a little easier because I can use the sensors to record each blood pressure reading. That one's not as hard for it. Right. Ready? Just make sure the valve is closed. Okay.
Is it a little much? Let me go ahead and just let that release. Okay, we'll let it go all the way. That's, that's probably fine. Okay, so about 105 over 62 millimeters, but we're fine. Okay. And, uh, I would, I would ask the sensors to estimate the height and weight, but I think probably you could tell me an approximate answer. The only reason we ask is that determines your dosage based on your body type. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So, I will trust you there. I think that is pretty good. Pretty good observation. So, now we get into taking some DNA samples. Now, we will have to take a wide variety of samples because there's a little bit of different information in each sample. So, we want to have a wide array. That way, we can also have a comprehensive look. And I have everything I need right here. So, let's go ahead and start with... So first, we are going to start with some skin cells. And I am going to take a cotton swab. I'm just going to swab along your cheek. And I think I will load up both sides, just so we make sure we have an adequate amount of skin cells. Okay? All you have to do is just sit still. Okay? This one goes... There we are. We have a little receptacle there. Skin cells. All taken care of. Wonderful. So now we're going to scrape some skin cells from the cheek. Or the jaw, if you prefer. It'll just be a little bit of redness, but it shouldn't. Yeah, we can do the jaw. So, I have a little wooden specimen stick. I'm just going to very gently run this along your jaw a few times, and we'll get samples on both sides, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and just... side. Okay. Right, I think that should be good. Okay. Scraped skin cells taken care of. Now we are going to 
take a bit of a mucus sample. So we're going to get another cotton swab and we are going to put it inside of the nose, okay? I'm going to be very gentle. It shouldn't go in too far, okay? But it is a little uncomfortable. If I could just have you tip your head back a little. And hold right there. Good, just making sure to go to the entire cotton bud. Okay, not too bad. like to take a little buckle sample. And um, I think for this one we'll do another swab. I don't think we need to. We need to do a scraping. There will be more scrapings in the future. There's a lot of scrapings happening. I'm just going to have you open your mouth for me. I'm going to pop on my little my little glove here so that I can see what I'm doing inside your mouth. And I'm just going to swab the insides of your cheeks. Okay? Alright, so, yep, just hold open there. Good. I appreciate how obliging you've been. Some people say, isn't this a gratuitous amount of samples? And to that I say, don't you want to know what's going on with your body? In every little nook and cranny? We need a lot of samples to get a lot of information. Sorry, kind of got some on your cheek there, but should be able to separate those cells from the inside of the cheek. Just get extra. Maybe we can outnumber the cheek cells. in our receptacle and then good so we've done the buckle sample we've gotten our scraped skin cells mucus sample we've done the cotton swab skin cells now let's move to the tongue scraping now for the tongue scraping I can either do a metal instrument or I can go wood just depends on how thorough we want to be but I think for the tongue it's easy enough to take a scraping so let's go ahead and just grab a nice big tongue depressor here so I'm gonna have you just stick out your tongue for me like that. Okay, let's take a peek and just scrape, 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 scrape. We had a lot of scraping here. side. So that 
have a taste. It's probably nothing. Did I use this one before? No, I would know. Would I know? I would know. I would know. Scraping complete. Now let's see, we've done one, two, three, four, five samples so far. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to go. Now let me see um, a teeth scraping. This one we will have to use one of the metal implements for. I think... Let's use... One of these. So, we don't need too much. Now, my favorite spots to get are probably behind the front lower teeth and the very back, if you have any preference. Absolutely, I can do right in front. Good, so I'm just going to have my mirror, my little lights, and I can just they have very nice teeth. They're a little slippery. Worldly nice teeth. I didn't think that was going to be a detriment, but here we are. We are just chucking along. Teeth scraping complete. Now we're going to do a throat swab. And just going to take our little swab here. And I don't think we need to, is that a cat hair? I don't think we need to do both sides of the swab. We can just take one side here, just really load it up. Okay. I'm going to have you open up your mouth. Good. Then we will just... I'm going to be very careful not to touch the uvula. How are we doing? Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Done. 
it's not as much as I wanted, but it'll be fine. I mean, if it's not, we'll just go back in. we go. I am going to need a salivary sample. I have a convenient little cup here, and I am going to have you just spit, basically, until we get to right here, I think. Do you not make that much? Well, I mean, I guess, I guess halfway. Do you think you can do halfway? I'm going to leave this one for you at your leisure then, if you think it's going to take a while. Let's see where else we have to go. So while you're doing that with the other hand, I can do our nail samples. You know what? While you're doing that, I think I will take the hair and skin sample on, on the scalp. Let me see. Okay. I think. You know, I don't have a pair of scissors, so I suppose we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. I have a couple of brushes here. One of them was more meant for the scalp, but I think they'll work for both. But I'm just going to be running these through your hair a little bit, and this should catch at least a couple of hairs. And we should be able to get some skin cells on, on the other one as well. Dr. Sohn Cheryl to the DNA Rearrangement Department. Dr. Sohn Cheryl, DNA Rearrangement. It's not really giving me anything, but maybe the other side. hairs, but I suppose it'll do. And then let's get into your scalp a little. Unfortunately, I can't see them, so we'll hope that's enough. Have you finished with that salivary sample yet? I mean, that's on the lower half of the midline, but it should be. Salivary sample, hair sample, scalp sample. Now we're going to be doing a couple of different nail samples. First one, we are going to get underneath the nail. 
So underneath your nails tells a lot about who you are as a person, what you've been getting into. So I'm going to use a toothpick here and very gently scrape the inside of your nail, both sides of the pick here. Now, you're going to have to be very, very, very still for this, okay? Alright, so, if I could just have you give me one of your hands here. Just very gently scrape out a bit. Ask my superiors if we could just get a pair of nail clippers because the next sample we need is a nail clipping but they said they were not in the budget so toothpicks it is okay and the other side we'll get in another nail Should count yourself lucky. We used to take cuticle samples. That was kind of difficult, seeing as we didn't have any real scissors. Just kind of had to worry at the skin a little bit until it just, but they no longer need that, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Toothpick done. Now, let's see what we can use for our nail clipping. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool, and it's got a sharp edge. So, I'm just going to very gently scrape the edge of the nail. I'm going to find a bit of a weaker spot on the nail. If I could see your hand, please. And right, there we go, corner of the third finger, so we're just going to scrape that inward. Now, I will warn you, this might split the nail a little bit, so you may want to just There we go. If we could just pull that off. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Alright, we're almost done. We've got three left. So now I'm gonna need a sweat sample. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to take a scraping of it. So, is there somewhere that's pretty easy to get a little sample of sweat? Yep, that's perfect. We can do the palms. Right, and I'm just going to... Oh, you're right, that is a little slick. Well, that works. Just going to scrape the skin of your palm. I'll just coat the wood. Custodian to the DNA Rearrangement Department. Custodian, DNA Rearrangement. That should be enough. Good. Last two. So, this next one is going to be 
I won't exactly say painful because really the most discomfort is that it'll throb a bit afterwards, but I'd like to take just a tiny little blood sample and it'll be at the side of your finger. There's not many nerve endings at the side of the finger, so you might feel, well, it's not unlike if I were to press my nail into the side of your finger. It feels a bit pointed, there's some pointed pressure there, but otherwise afterwards it might be just a touch red and you might get a little bit of throbbing. It's not really too bad there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So, I've got a little tool here, and I'm going to ask for one of your fingers, if you have a preference. They're all about the same. I maybe wouldn't go with the index finger just for convenience, but yeah, let's do the third finger here. Okay, so I'm going to have you take a deep breath in, and on the count of three, I'll go ahead and do our little poke. Okay? Take a deep breath in. Good, and out, one, two, three. Yes, I did it on two, yeah. That way you don't expect it. Part of the pain aspect is sometimes the anticipation of it. It's not actually as bad when you get down to it, but the anticipation is uh, pretty torturous. That was easy. Last swab. I would like to get in between your toes, actually. Yep, I am not kidding. I would like to see your toes, and I am going to swab in between them. You know, I'm not sure what part of the DNA is in between the toes. I don't know. I just know that I have to grab that one or else the, uh, the machine won't work right. Okay. Alright, so if I could just see your foot. Okay, and let's go ahead and just swab in between. makes you feel any better. This is the least favorite part of the tissue and fluid sampling that I've got to do as well. Really coat the swab. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, that's all of our DNA. Now, we are going to analyze our samples and get our data. We'll just give that a moment. There we go. Wonderful. So, it looks like you have a parasitic infection of the parent... No, no, that's... I... Th that's wrong. Oh, I added an extra zero. There we go. Okay. Looks like you just have a common cold. Right? Let me grab our prescription. Okay, that looks good. So, I am just going to come over here. And I have quite a few different medicines laid out. Actually, I need our 
our tweezers here. So, let's see, the first one. Dr. McDreamy on line two. Dr. McDreamy, line two. Do you think, is this a good size where I can try to break them up a little bit?
couple of those. The size okay. Dr. Sonchero to DNA rearrangement immediately. Dr. Sonchero, DNA rearrangement immediately. And that should be it. So we have these guys. We are going to have you take these. There are three in total. We're going to have you take one for three days. Okay? Doesn't matter morning or night. And then we have a liquid gel here. This one is going to be one to two drops a day. And this little white pill here. This is going to be twice a day the next three days. This little pill here, this is going to be three times the first day, one time the second day, and one time for the third day. And for our big orange pills, we are going to do four for the first day, so this is one every two hours. The second day, you can do one every three hours, and this is two of them. The third day, you take one, and then the fourth day, you take one. Okay? So, I know this is kind of a lot, so we will have that print out in your after visit summary. Okay? And that should clear up the common cold you have. It doesn't look like there's any deficiencies. There's nothing else underlying. Okay? This will take care of it within four days. Right? Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'd like to thank you so much for coming into our clinic today, getting your DNA tested, and then having us create a bespoke treatment plan for your illness. I truly hope that this helps you very quickly. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night.
description box where I offer early access to 